In this video, we will show you how to install a Sword 2x rear derailleur. You will need a torque wrench, 4 and 5mm hex bits, 3, 4 and 5mm hex wrenches, a chain breaker, and a cable cutter. Attach the derailleur to the frame with a 5mm hex wrench. You want to make sure the B-tension adjustment plate is out of the way of the dropout tab before torquing the bolt to 8 to 10 newton meters. Once torqued, make sure the derailleur can rotate freely. Now use a 3mm hex wrench to set your high limit. Adjust the screw until the center of the guide pulley aligns with the outer edge of the smallest cog. A clockwise turn moves the derailleur towards the cassette, and a counterclockwise turn moves the derailleur away from the cassette. Every frame manufacturer has a different cable routing guideline, so make sure you consult those first before sizing and cutting your housing. With the sword rear derailleur, you do not want a large loop before the housing reaches the derailleur's barrel adjuster, but you also don't want the housing to enter the stop at a harsh angle. Sword works best when there is a gentle loop and the housing goes straight into the barrel adjuster. With the housing sized, move your shifter to the hardest gear or small cog position. Then route the inner shift cable from your shifter to the derailleur. Route the cable under the cable fixing bolt and washer and through the groove on the derailleur. Then pull the cable tight to remove any slack and secure the cable fixing bolt to 5 to 7 newton meters. Cut the cable and attach a cable end. Now let's size the chain. Wrap the chain around the largest chain ring and the largest cassette cog without routing it through the rear derailleur. Stretch the chain tight. Put two inner links next to each other on the chain ring, add two extra inner links, and make your cut there. Disable the clutch by turning the clutch switch counterclockwise. Now route the chain through the derailleur, in front of the guide pulley and behind the derailment prevention plate and tension pulley. Route the chain through the front derailleur and around the chain ring. Connect the ends according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Before adjusting the shifting, turn the clutch on by turning the switch clockwise. Now make a shift to the second smallest cog. If the chain doesn't move, turn the barrel adjuster on the derailleur counterclockwise. Repeat until the derailleur moves the chain to the second smallest cog. Shift through the gear range. If shifting is slow to move to a larger cog, turn the barrel adjuster counterclockwise. If the shifting is slow to move to a smaller cog, turn the barrel adjuster clockwise. Once cable tension is set, shift to the largest cog. Use your hand and try to push the derailleur past the cog and into the wheel. If the derailleur can move past the cog, adjust the low limit screw clockwise until you can't move the derailleur into the wheel. You want the guide pulley to be centered beneath the largest cog of the cassette. It's time to make the B-tension adjustment. Shift to the small chain ring. With the chain on the smallest chain ring and the largest cog, turn the B-limit screw counterclockwise until there is 4 to 6 millimeters of distance between the guide pulley and the tallest teeth of the largest cog. Finally, while in the small chain ring, shift to the smallest cog. If there is any slack in the chain, turn the B-tension screw clockwise until the return spring stop screw disengages with the stop. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about sword setup, please email us at service at microshift.com.